Hi there, welcome to another leftover meal, number 52 might I add. Okay, so today I'm going to be utilising the lamb, a bruzy, yeah, not no lamb left though, just a little bit of sauce, nicely concentrated, very nice indeed that was. Um, and also I'm going to be utilising the celeriac mash with, that I actually didn't video uh, me grinding up a few fennel seeds and chopping a few chives, but that's all that went into that, okay. You saw the lemon and the, the white pepper. So today I'm going to be making um, a chicken uh, cacciatore, yeah? So it's a classic Italian dish with um, lovely like um, slow cooked like chicken breasts. What I'll do is I'll braise the skin, yeah? Uh, render a bit, a bit of the fat out of that, yeah? Um, and then slow cook it in a nice sort of pepper, onion, tomato sauce with a bit of mushrooms. And obviously as you can see, a few olives, not the whole container. My Italian wholesaler's gone mad, okay? Six pound that cost me. I was thinking, it's only gonna be a small tub. Look at the size of it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna Google if I can freeze olives. If I can't, I'm gonna be donating them to a few of my mates, collect them at the doorstep, yeah? <laughs> okay, or I'll send you some in the post for free. <laughs> All right, so also to accompany that um, is uh, some butternut squash. What I've, what I've actually done to this one already is um, I've boiled, cut them in half, boiled them, scooped out the inside, as you can see there, yeah, scooped out the butternut squash inside, and I'm going to fill it with uh, the celeriac, a bit of celeriac mixed with the butternut squash, and um, some prosciutto, okay, that would be really nice, yeah, and then goat's cheese on top, and that will just melt inside, yeah, okay, so I'm going to what I'm going to first, first of all, I'm going to do is fry off this pancetta, yeah, so that's ready to go into the um, butternut squash, yeah. Okay, so just literally just tear this up, yeah, tear that up. In fact, while I'm doing that, put a little bit of rapeseed oil in the pan, okay. What I do, I start braising off, browning off these chicken skins, yeah? That's what I'm looking, looking to do, yeah? Cut the knife in the pan, in the sink, sorry. Okay. So, in goes skin side down, some nice quality uh, chicken breasts there. Just put that to one side, don't want to touch that again. Wash your hands. That's fine. So I'm just going to braise, uh, brown that off, okay? Press the black pepper in there. That's fine. Start heating up this little pan for the prosciutto. Okay. So I want to utilise the prosciutto, okay, because it does dry out once it's opened in the fridge, yeah? So um, I could figure out wrapping some, something in it, but I've already done a ballantine, you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, this is a good way to use, add some flavour to the root vegetables, yeah? If you're a vegetarian, then of course, then just leave out the prosciutto. All, all my recipes are obviously made from leftovers, but they're just sort of like freestyle, made up. You know, like, uh, well, based on like a, maybe a classic recipe, but then I do my own little twist on it. So there's no reason why you can't put your own little spin on it, yeah? If you're a vegetarian or, yeah, just, just keep it to veg. Just minus the meat, that's all it is. You know, if, if you're a vegetarian, instead of like uh, chicken, yeah, which is the, uh, the authentic way of doing it, you could maybe like throw off some uh, aubergine halves, or baby aubergines or something like that and put that in there, yeah? That'd be nice. And also you could do this with stuffed peppers, yeah? Or you could, uh, you know, slice cor big chunks of courgette and fry them off in the pan, have that like a chunky vegetable in, in the cacciatore, yeah? There's lots of, lots of options. Just drop me a mes message below, yeah? Like, um, if, uh, if you're stuck for ideas, I'm, I'm more than happy to help, yeah? Okay, so I'm just going to turn that up a little bit. I want that skin to be like quite crisp, 
quite crispy there. Yeah? Rends all the fat out of that. So it makes the actual dish healthier, yeah? But I don't want to be eating rubbery chicken skin. It's really nice. Because the chicken's laid sort of like on top, yeah? After that, I braise it there, I'll take it out of the pan and let it let it chill out for a little while, just place it somewhere, and then I'll stop doing the sauce and then put it back into the sauce and then slow cook it in the oven, yeah? That's the way I'm, that's the way you do it. There's a procedure to a lot of things, yeah. Some things are like flexible, but that's one thing that you have to do with really, it. Okay, that's nice cooking that, that down. So what I can do is um, carry on removing this butternut squash. I've already done one obviously. So this one, I've obviously got leftovers there that I'm going to utilise. This one's got the, seed, the seeds in it. So I'm not going to like, uh, I've got enough mash there, butternut squash, to, 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 to refill this with. So I'm just going to put all the seeds and stuff like that in here. Yeah, because I'll, I'll, I'll have to sift through that another day, yeah? And utilise that. Okay. That prosciutto is done now. It doesn't need long, it will cook in the oven as well. And also what I thought would be nice is to do some celeriac chips, yeah? I've already pre-cut them and just uh, dabbed them with like a bit of rapeseed oil. I'll put a bit of pepper on there, yeah? And that would be really nice. So you've, you've got like a bit of a texture in there, yeah? Not just a smooth like uh, celeriac and uh, squash uh, mash inside here, yeah? You've got like a nice bit of um, texture with the chips on the plate. Add a little bit more grapeseed oil in there. Just flat it here yeah, because I don't want to put my the brush in the pan. Just give it a press with like the spatula, yeah? Make sure like that skin hits the pan. That's fine. Yeah, so I've browned them off a bit. So I can turn off that gas now, and then what I'll do is just put them on a the plate, I think, and let them chill out, yeah? And then they will slow cook in the sauce. And also, because they're going to be skin side up in the oven, yeah, that skin will get even more crispy up. I've just got a little, a light brown coating skin on it, yeah? Okay, so let's carry on taking out um, this squash. You have to boil this for at least 15 minutes, yeah? Same as the celeriac, because it's very dense, very hard root vegetable, okay? And don't go too, too close to the skin, otherwise you're gonna rupture it, yeah? And then basically, all your filling's gonna start coming out when it's cooking in the oven, yeah? So just leave like a five mil or something like that of like squash already left in there, yeah? Something like that. Get in there, almost done, to be fair. That's it. All done. So now what I can do, yeah, in fact what I will do, before I do that, because I can actually assemble those whilst this sauce is actually uncooking, yeah? Just trying to think ahead. So that chicken's added a nice little bit of flavour to this pan, yeah? Nice. So now in goes the garlic. In goes the garlic. In goes, I've got one red onion and one tiny small um, white onion, okay? That's what I'm putting in. Just roughly chopped, yeah? So I'm just going to braise that off, yeah? In fact, what I might do, 
tiny bit of water just to release a bit of that brown uh, stickiness, stickiness from the chicken here. Yeah? And that's it. And that will help release those flavours from the bottom of the pan. Obviously, if you're cooking with a Le Creuset then, or an enamel dish, don't use a, a metal spatula, yeah? Use a rubber one or a wooden one, yeah? Otherwise, you'll scratch the enamel and it'll become non-stick. Okay, so what I'm looking to do here is um, just roughly mash this uh, butternut squash, yeah? I've got that as a fine, the celeriac's like a fine puree, and then the butternut squash is almost like a bit of a rustic mash, yeah? So I've got the two different textures in there. It's not just all very smooth and soft. tomato puree, yeah, in with the prosciutto, that's what I'm thinking, just that even add a little bit more flavour there, yeah, give that little stir up. nice, so that's, that must add a bit of flavour, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll put, um, I'll put a, a spoonful of squash at the bottom, yeah. Little bit of um, prosciutto and tomato puree. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then a little bit of. Um, I'm just going to layer it up. That's what the, what I had in my mind. Just layering it up. Yeah. So a spoonful of celeriac. Another bit of uh, squash. Yeah. Kind of pack it down with a spoon. Another bit of uh, prosciutto, yeah, crumbled in there. Nice. And then another bit of celeriac, yeah. Okay, I've got to do another one, so I'll just put a little bit of butternut squash on there. And then what I was going to do. So what I was going to do is put a bit of goat's cheese on top. Okay. Bit of goat's cheese. Open, yeah, two bits. Might as well you to utilize this. Yeah, use it up, otherwise I don't want it going off. Okay, pack that in. That's nice. Okay, so and then what I might do just to finish it off. Just put like a couple of um, sprinkle of chopped chives, yeah? And then pack that down. Okay. So that's that's done there. And then I'll do the same to this one. This is a smaller one. Put a bit of butternut squash in. Just to repeat the process, yeah? That's what I'm gonna do, yeah? Like pancetta. Celeria. Very 
nice that much work, to be honest. And the fennel and the, the tribes really made it, lifted it, yeah? Just made it, took it to a different level, I think. Okay, tiny bit more squash, not a lot, because it's a small one. And then put like the prosciutto there, don't want to waste that. Really pack that in. Yeah, just put a bit of these chives in. And then the rest of that goat's cheese, and I'll wash my hands. Yeah, just basically push that down there. And that's it. Packed, packed butternut squash in there. And then what I, actually what I will do, I'm just going to wash my hands, um, I'll, I'll brush it with a little bit of oil, yeah? To help crisp up that skin. So fill up my little pot with some rapeseed oil. And then I'm just going to brush the outside, yeah? With a little bit of rapeseed oil. help crisp that up and soften it up even more, yeah? And then you can eat the skin, obviously. If I do this, it'll taste nice. The skin's soft already where I've actually boiled it. So that's fine. Do the other one. And I cut off the big, really hard, like, stalky bit at the bottom, yeah, because you don't want to be eating that by mistake. So that is fine. That's good. So what else goes into this uh, dish? I'm going to put some peppers in there. Peppers. And what I'll do is I'll put it all in the oven at the same time. The chips, the butternut squash and the cassiatori. Yeah, that's why I'm not putting them in the oven at the moment. I just want them all to be done at the same time. Yeah, chip they take about the same time, about like for half an hour or something. Yeah, maybe gas mark 180 or 200. I'll see how it goes. Check it after 20 minutes. Anyway. Okay, turn it up a little bit. What I'll do is I'm going to put some of these olives in there. Yeah, so just get them up. Deep, dive deep, boys. <laughs> Whole olive tree in here. I'm going to be very generous with the olives, okay? Normally you put like only like uh, maybe like uh, a cup or half a cup. I'm going to put like uh, a heaps cup, yeah? There we go. Heaps cup of olives, yeah? I think that'd be nice. Yeah, I love olives anyway. Black olives. They're pitted black olives. But to be honest, if I, if I put them in Tupperwares and uh, leave them in that brine, they will keep for a while anyway, so um, it's all good. But I will look into seeing if I can freeze that, yeah? In goes uh, the tinned tomatoes, yeah? In fact, yeah, that's no, fine. I'm making quite a large cacciatore here, um, so this can be frozen. Yeah, as well, or have it for lunch the next day. And I will be utilising it as well for another meal. Okay, so what else? Put the mushrooms in there. Just flinging it all in, to be fair. And once this is cooked down, then I'll put those chicken breasts back in there, yeah? I've got some basil that I'm going to put in. Traditional like um, Italian herb there, nice. And also I'm going to put um, some fresh thyme sprigs in there as well. Basil goes in. I don't have any red wine, otherwise I'd put a little bit of that in. I think actually, uh, traditionally they actually use um, wine in here. So what else could I put in there? Yeah, I don't have any wine. 
chicken breast back in yeah and what I will do what you do is just sort of like immerse them maybe two thirds of the way yeah into the sauce yeah so it's kind of like half poaching them but that skin I want showing because that is what I want crisping up yeah that's fine and what I will do in the sink, first of all, wash your hands again. And now, what I'll do is I'll put that in the oven. Let's put this in the oven. So, I'll put this one in the oven. No lid. And then also these butternut squashes in there and all this fit in there as well Will. there you go, perfect so that's on 150 so I'm going to whack that up to 180 we'll check it after 20 minutes yeah that's it perfect I'm done and I'll show you a picture once it's played up 